We're in the heart of Gasnoil. We're headed to meet Mr. Moore and his son, Mike. The family ran a service station from the early 1900s. They closed in the 90s, and supposedly they kept everything. Look at this place. Oh, this is cool. Oh, we grab the flyer. Craggy. This place is cool, man. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Hello. Hello. Oh, Mike. Got some square footage up here. No way. Mr. Moore, Frank. Hey, Mike. Right, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey, Mike, nice right, to meet you. Hello, how are you? Good to well. meet you guys. I got to say, the curb appeal of this building is incredible. It was a, a very busy gas station. We were midway between Dallas and Lubbock and Amarillo. Yeah. So this was the main route of traffic, and it all came by this station because there was no freeway. Oh. This place was like an oasis for the weary traveler. They were open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Wow. So what did you guys use this space for up here then? They had an ordinance back in the 30s and early 40s against parking overnight on the street. Really? So if people stayed in the hotel, you would come over here and park your car, and we got 40 or 50 cents a night. No way. There you go. <laughs> Cars would pull up right here, huh? Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> Look how narrow that is, Frank. This ramp was made for model T. Oh, okay, okay. Can we look over here first? Yeah. This is like walking through a Petroleana History Museum. So was this stuff left over from the storage business? A lot of this I acquired. Um, a few of them are, are family pieces that we put up here, you know. Uh, Where'd that, that come out of? As far as I know, it was it was probably in the oil refinery offices that would have been back here. Uh, oh, this was office space up here. This this originally was. It later became the VFW. Uh, I've heard stories that of uh, a guy that got drunk and drove his motorcycle up these back stairs. Uh -huh. <laughs> couldn't figure out how to get it down, so they had to bust a hole in the wall and take it down the, the ramp for the cars. Oh, my gosh. Through there. It's cool seeing a young guy like Mike being so passionate about his family's history. I feel a sense of pride being able to carry the family history on. I take a lot of pride in that. Hey, uh, thanks for thank sharing you your family's so history with us. Good luck with the museum. Thank you. You bet. All right, we appreciate it. You come to Nashville, you. you'll see that. Be safe. All right, All right guys, let's take care. God bless you guys. Later, guys. Take Later. care. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.